When Marion local football and track coach Dan Toby was diagnosed with a brain tumor late in the winter, one of the things he was hoping for was to be able to stand on the practice fields once two a days came for the Flyers. Oh, absolutely! You know that and, and teaching. You know, I, I I love these kids. I've told them that now, and I love the coaches. I love the school. I love the teachers. I love love everything about it. So you want to be a part of it still, and. And you want, you know, the good Lord's trying to, I think, hopefully find your ways to be able to get get back to that is, is what some of my belief is. The news of cancer took the Toby family on a mental roller coaster. You find out you got something that, you know, nobody wishes that they had, but um, there's a lot of different paths and choices and things that, uh, you know, you, you go through, things that go through your mind, um, you know, just what to do and talking to different doctors and so forth. So there's... There's a lot, a lot of decision making going on there at, at, at the beginning process, even as the process continues. You know, you just, you're never sure, but, but you really always have one thing, and that's the good Lord above. You know, you always, always counting and trusting on, on, on that. He's such an inspiration to us. I mean, he's a great coach. I mean, he's always been a great coach, but you know, with with him dealing with the situation with his health, um, you know, it, it just. I think it's a good reminder for all of us on life and the ups and downs of life and, and, and just keeping everything in perspective in terms of all, all the stuff that's, that we think is important you know, on earth here it really uh, isn't. You know? And so it's just a good reminder. Every day he comes in and he's happy to be there. He's, you know, he's having a good day and uh, let's go. When Toby returned to his alma mater several years ago after coaching stops in Vandalia Butler and Fort Loramie, he never could have imagined the support that has come from the towns of Chickasaw, Maria Stein, Osgood, Carthagena, Casella, and St. Rose. This community is, is above amazing. It's just been beautiful, wonderful. Um, you know, everybody wants to see you do well. They want to give you suggestions, which is great. But there comes a point in time too where you have to just stick with what you're doing. You can't can't keep jumping from one thing to the next. But but the people around here are absolutely amazing and fun to be around, be a be a part of this group. Between a 5K fundraiser that happened this summer, drawing more than 2,000 people, and today's two a days, Toby finds himself in prayer and in the Word of God, fully relying on the Lord. A lot more, which which is a big part of it. Um, you know, the Bible is a big part of it, reading through that and other uh, books and just praying and trying to figure out, you know, doing the right things the right way. And um, you, just, you just don't know, but you got to just keep plugging away and believing. It's a shocker to everyone. And so it's, it's just a natural stimulus to, to different conversations than, than what you normally have. So, um, you know, he and I and some of the other coaches, we, we've We've had different conversations, you know, than normal, and it's been good. It's always awesome to be back out here doing what, you know, the things that you love to do. Uh, yeah, big part of my life, so uh, it's nice to be around it still and with it.